William Hill sponsors Martin versus Joshua on Sky Sports Box Office. Yeah. Are you fighting as well? Are, are you on the undercard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it's you're obviously relaxed and in good spirits. 48 hours before the fight, getting your you know uh, liquids on. It's great, man. Like I, I've got to tell you. For a fight, period, but a heavyweight title fight in particular, I've never seen two fighters more calm and relaxed, yeah. ready for the event without really no 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 crap talking too much. Like, yeah. is this is this different for you? Is it? Um, a lot of opponents have been respectful towards me, and vice versa as well. As I said, my last opponent was a bit different, but <laughs> you know, Charles is cool, man. You know what I mean? But it's the quiet ones you have to be careful about as well because they're confident. And a man that's confident in my aura is a man I'm fighting that's gonna be in that square circle with me and we're gonna be in close proximity. So that's why I say, even though he's quiet and he's respectful, he is a dangerous man in that sense. You know, it's interesting you say that because a lot has been discussed yeah. about who's gonna be more comfortable in the ring. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got more fights, he's got the belt, but you're at home and you've been under these bright lights more often. Yeah. Is there anything that you can do physically yeah to take advantage of that mental challenge on his part if you do see it. What, yeah. How does that work? It's, it's all about establishing myself and my authority on Charles early. Don't let a man get too comfortable in that ring. But not overexerting my energy and overexerting myself, but just making sure I'm the man that's controlling the center of that ring and being and being the general, controlling the jab. And it's who, about who finds their range first. Because Southpaws are very patient and will flick, flick. I've got a kick that orthodox style and just popping that jab, fainting, right hand to the body and so on. And it's about who establishes themselves early on in the fight. A lot of people say that Charles Martin hasn't really been challenged. Even winning the title, obviously, wasn't a tough fight based on the injury. But you, with Dylan White, in the last fight, there was two rounds in there where you had to come through, you had to persevere. Yeah. Does that, that experience, just in that one fight for those two rounds, do you feel gives you an edge if this thing gets tough? Oh, bro, 100% because I fought a fight I didn't need to fight, and I come out on top. I swam deep waters, you know, the second round I got caught, and then I realized to myself, I said to myself, you know what, this guy ain't gonna go easy. So in the third round, I said, I'm gonna have it off and get back to my boxing and start building again from the fourth. So normally I would go in there and bam, bam, bam. Guys would drop and wouldn't get up. Dylan was there for a while, so I had to just adjust myself. Walking out first instead of second, normally. I'm gonna do the same come Saturday night. So it's unbelievable times for me and uh, unbelievable experience that happened, I went through and that happened December 12th. That's put me in good position and that's kept me relaxed ahead of this fight April 9th. You know, you're a big guy. He's a pretty big guy too, but you're, you're larger. Do you feel that when you're standing face to face with him? Do you, does he feel smaller? They're dreads, man. They just <laughs> cut, they're, they're, they're too high. They're too high. They make him look bigger than he is. <laughs> He's a big unit, just like any other heavyweight. But what's cool is that, trust me, when you're standing across from your opponent and you see their physical shape and you think, and I know he's going to look at me and think to himself, boy, if one of these right hands touch me, boy, I'm going to be in pain. So it's that physical presence, and I know I got that. I know I got that advantage on him. I know I got that on the majority of heavyweights. You know, I'm strong, I'm built, I'm fit. So I know he's going to be thinking in his, he in his, in his head before he gets comfortable, what's this guy going to possess? Is he going to be the general of this ring? Now, something interesting has occurred over the course of this week. Maybe it has something to do with how easygoing you both have been, but when he showed up, you're a huge favorite, the margins were wide, and nobody was really giving him a shot. But now, I don't know if you know this, but 75% of the bets that have been laid yeah. have been laid on Martin for the knockout. Granted, it's five to one, so it's kind of buying a lotto ticket. But what do you think about that turn of events, and how many people are you gonna make lose their money Saturday night? I told you, don't <laughs> bet against the house. You never bet against the house. The house always wins. And I'm gonna handle my business the same way. So it will be great to catch up with you guys after the fight. And I'm going to say shame to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Radio Rahim with Anthony Joshua in the house. It'll be in the house Saturday night at the O2 Arena on Sky Sports. Brought to you by William Hill. Good luck, man. Radio Rahim with Anthony Joshua.